Uh, my name is Dave Johnson, I'm editor of the magazine Industrial Safety and Hygiene News. I don't know, in a sense, if there really are highlights in safety and health because no news is good news, really. Um, no news means there's been no West Texas explosion, there's been no BP explosion. Um, so uh, when things are going well in safety and health, things are kind of uh, quiet and uh, no news is being made and that sits pretty well with professionals. Uh, I do think one highlight that I would say I've seen, um, you could call it a trend maybe over the last couple of decades, uh, when I came into the field OSHA was, was very dominant, cast a very long shadow over uh, all the professionals uh, in the field here at American Industrial Hygiene Association, other associations. Basically, job one was OSHA compliance. Uh, well, over the last 30 years, OSHA has quieted down quite a bit uh, in terms of a standard setting agency. It's been much harder for them to set standards. So this has really freed up the professional to develop other skill areas, other competencies. Uh, probably most importantly, it has gotten professionals away from the, the kind of really the, the uh, bad negative stereotype of being the OSHA compliance cop. And uh, they still certainly do compliance, and compliance is still uh, very important. But uh, there hasn't been a lot of new standards that have had to been implemented uh, really over the last 10, 15 years, with a couple of exceptions. Uh, so this has allowed professionals to uh, develop so-called soft skills in addition to their technical skills, leadership skills, coaching skills, uh, engaging employees, and it's allowed them to build uh, the so-called business case for safety. Um, where before companies, a lot of companies only did safety because OSHA said so. Well now, Professionals have become much more adept and are using research and some studies, um, become much more adept at selling their programs on the basis of what safety and health can do for a business, for a business's brand, for a business's reputation. So I'd say that's, that's probably the biggest highlight I've, I, I've seen.